Mexico boasts an array of medicinal plants. They grow naturally in rural areas where communities have little access to formal health care facilities and eight out of ten people use traditional medicine. An essential part of Zapotec culture is using plants for medicinal purposes. Zapotec healer Isabel Jimenez wants to pass on her skills and knowledge to younger generations. Traditional healers are very important in our culture. We need to preserve the knowledge of our ancestors by teaching children how to identify, recognize and defend medicinal plants. The Sonora market in Mexico City is the largest medicinal plant market in the country. More than 300 species are available for sale here. In an effort to protect natural vegetation, threatened by accelerated urban growth, the National Autonomous University of Mexico has set up a digital library that lists more than 3,000 indigenous plant species. The considerable decline in the country's natural resources in recent decades has many academics worried. Now with the destruction of uh, the vegetation in Mexico, we're losing many of these plants. Some of the plants we can bring into cultivation, but not all the plants. So what we have to do is, is to work closely to, uh, to establish uh, within the university, for instance, uh, what is the, the scientific basis of the use of these plants, their identity, active principles, but also uh, what are the uh, connections with uh, the local culture. Ethnologist Edelmira Linares has been studying medicinal plants for nearly 30 years. In her latest study, she found that the demand for natural remedies encourages conservation efforts. People have responded to the devastation by gathering and cultivating these plants at home in their gardens. These academics agree that more research is needed into the sustainable use of natural treatments. Without these efforts, they say, indigenous communities will lose the traditional knowledge and skills that healers like Isabel Ramirez are trying to preserve. Valeria León, TRT World, Mexico.